Welcome, it's March 21st. News of Project Morpheus, Sony's VR headset is here. Chinese drones catching polluters, solar powered toilies, and my what the tech gadgets. Let's go. <laughs> We know virtual reality is coming. It used to be something we dreamt about, but it's already pretty much available in living rooms. It's just expensive. A new version of the Oculus Rift released just this week, but we're not talking about Oculus. We're talking about Project Morpheus, PS4's VR headset. It goes without saying, nothing delivers the feeling of immersion, like you're inside another world, able to look around side to side better than VR. Sony Entertainment has actually been messing with Project Morpheus since 2010, but it finally turned into truth thanks to the encouragement and enthusiastic response of other prototypes, like the Oculus Rift, of course. But we're not talking about the Oculus Rift, damn it. I don't really know what makes me do that. Anyways, the headset features an adjustable 1080p resolution head-mounted display with a 90-degree field of view. Built-in sensors track the movement of the head in accordance to a PS4 camera. It's just a prototype right now, but so far, Sony is working on adapting both tracking and control. Additionally, the PlayStation Move Gesture controller will work with Morpheus to guide and control the camera, a tactic which will create a natural feeling of being inside the game. Sony intends for developers to get started now. Who wants this? China. Oh, China. We worry about you. You and your lung-choking fog that's affecting our planet. Right now, drones are scouting over the skies of Beijing and other cities to check for smog sources and to apparently spot environmental breaches. The unmanned aircraft can cover 70 kilometers in a two-hour flight. Okay, I think best use of a drone that I've heard about in a while, but these efforts seem to be like a drop in the sea. The country's Ministry of Environmental Protection has only four of these, each costing $1.3 million all to try and spot the millions of buildings that don't follow regulations and then take pictures of them? China. Oh, China. I want to hope that because the polluting factories can't spot the drones and turn off their smog machines, this will do some good. But let's be real, this is the tip of the iceberg. Um, and speaking of frozen stuff, China's environmental ministry has also been testing the possibility of using drones to spray chemicals to disperse smog during high pollution times? Let me just leave that thought in your head. Leave comments below, please. Like I've said, I don't get too political on this show because that's not what it's for. But if we went out and had a cup of coffee, I'd talk for days. Yeah. And you wouldn't want me to talk for days. You really wouldn't want that. Yo, 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 it's time, folks. I'm really sorry about that. No, I'm not. Actually, no, I'm not. No. A camera just for selfies? What the tech? <laughs> the term selfie, selfies being retweeted and talked about, and just the extent of it all is getting out of hand. So here's something to annoy me even more. The Samsung SX Mini, it's got an LCD screen that flips over 180 degrees to selfie yourself. Ugh. To shoot yourself. I mean, take a quick shot. Snap a, snap a shot of yourself, yeah. True, our front-facing cameras are pretty crappy, but it's certainly not the camera's fault if your face looks terrible in the photo. Hashtag your phone is, hashtag too close to your hashtag face to get a good shot. I mean, what's up with the trending bathtub selfie thing lately? Lady Gaga's bathtub selfie isn't even a selfie. Either she's got an invisible robotic arm taking it, which is highly likely, or someone stepped in to take that for her. Not a selfie. <sighs> oh my god, a wrist phablet. 
the Rufus Cuff categorizes itself as a risk communicator, much like large screen smartphones fall into the phablet category. Do they have to call it Rufus? Rufus should literally be limited to names for pets, particularly dogs. Also, please call it anything else anything else other than a phablet. The only notion striking me right now is the possibility of turning my old iPhone 4 into a bracelet then walking around like it's normal. And when people ask me what the hell I'm wearing, I'm just gonna have to tell them it's the next generation of wearables on your wrist. It's gonna be a nice time. Next, how about a solar powered toilet that will turn your poop into charcoal like pellets? Charcoal pellets grossing you out? I bet once you see the toilet, you may be inspired to. Hey, everyone poops, even Cindy Crawford. I literally could have picked anyone. A team of engineers from the great state of Colorado built the Soul Char, a toilet that scorches waste via fiber optic cables heated by solar concentrators on the roof. The system produces a useful byproduct called biochar, a sanitary charcoal thing for agricultural, well, well, agricultural fertilizer and soil amendment. It's not field ready, but the company says it's getting there. Maybe if it had a cup of coffee. No, I'm gonna cut that. Thanks for watching this week's Redheaded Geek Show. Subscribe to this channel. I put out episodes every Friday. And now I'd like to end my show with what I call a technically funny haha. Here is my ode to um, a phone video. It's called Make It Flip. Enjoy. This is ridiculous. You can't work this thing, you can't do a thing with it. the greatest. This one goes out to all my data haters who know that that data just don't matter. In this world, you gotta learn to communicate. We did, and we still flip it just like back in the day. Let me show you how we flip it. Take the elevator so I don't miss the call. I like to use my flipper when I'm swimming in the ocean. My flip phone could survive a nuclear explosion.